Thank you for joining me, guys. Unfortunately, someone threw away all my writing material I had planned for this campaign, so I stayed up late last night trying to see what I could come up with. Yeah, Donald, why would you do that? That wasn't very nice of you, Donald. You should apologize to Ben. Fake news, ganging up on an innocent victim, typical Democrats. It's okay, guys. It was an honest mistake. Don't worry. I'm sure he didn't mean to. That stuff was for nerds anyway, Ben. I did you a favor if you ask me. Since I don't have my materials and books anymore, I was thinking we make this more of a homebrew campaign. Something different than our other currently ongoing stories, just to have variety. That sounds like a great idea. Try to kiss his ass some more, why don't you? Try to be a decent human being for once, Donald. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. Did I insult your boyfriend? Both of you better shut the hell up right now before I call Michelle and tell her to speak to both of your wives. Yes, Yes, Barack. Barack. Sorry, Barack. Barack. Now then, pipe down so Ben can start his explanation. Thank you, Barack. As I was saying, this will be more of a homebrew campaign, so a lot of this will be done with feeling rather than with strict rules, something more casual. Now then, beside each of you is a blank piece of paper and a pencil. On the paper, you will write three superpowers and three drawbacks for those superpowers. Once that's done, hand me your papers. Are you sure Joe can write in his current mental state? You can't even spell half the words you write in the group chat, Donald. Reading your text is like trying to read Beowulf. You were probably alive when Beowulf was being written. Done. Here's the paper. I'm done, too. Done. I will now put these in separate bags, one for superpowers and one for drawbacks. Each of you will then randomly take a paper from both bags. These will be the building blocks of your characters. A few final things. I've added some superpowers and drawbacks of my own, and for some enemies or allies you will have in this campaign, I will also be pulling a random combination of a superpower and drawback for them. So what do you guys think? Blah, 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 stop yapping and let me pick already. What did you get? My superpower is super strength, fitting for a peak physical Sigma male specimen like me. And the drawback? I don't have a drawback. I am the best. Come on, Donald. You have to take a drawback. That's the whole point. Fine, fine. But let it be known that I'm doing this because I want to, not because I'm being told. No one tells the Trumpster what to do. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Who wrote this? What'd you get? Your power uses calories as a fuel source. That was one of mine, actually. Very well, Donald. Now, while you fill out your character sheet, Barack and Joe will see what their powers and drawbacks are. I got super speed, and using your power causes you great exhaustion. Well, that's not very good. Barack getting super speed, who would have guessed? Joe, what did you get? Oh, I got visions of the future. Neat. And my drawback is can only use your power while in physical pain. Ha! Even after trying to sabotage me, both of you still are no match for machismo. Machismo? Yep, that's my character name. Better learn it well, because I'm going to be a great superhero, the greatest, the best ever seen. Millions of people will be cheering my name, not that they don't already. Very well, Donald. Machismo it is. I have come up with a short beginning mission in order to ease you into the game. Have you guys decided on a name yet? I am El Momento. With my mighty future sight, I am a match for any foe who opposes my truth and justice. And I am Rush Hour. Seriously, Rush Hour? El Momento? That's the best you could come up with? You're one to talk, Machismo. Yeah, Donald, you're not exactly a creative genius with your name choice. You better watch your mouth when you talk about the great and mighty Machismo Rush Hour. Okay, everyone, settle down. Let's get started. The three of you, Machismo, El Momento, and Rush Hour, are part of an unlicensed superhero group trying to make it big. What do you mean unlicensed? I pay all my taxes. I somehow highly doubt that. Don't worry, I'll explain that when we get to it. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the setting is modern day. Currently, you find yourselves in the town of Gregora, a small but densely populated city in the center of Lilum, the island you call home. Gregora was named after Gregory Neal, a priest who helped fund and build the large chapel the town is now known for. A few hundred years ago, there was nothing here but valleys and fields. It was only after the chapel was built to provide a place for the local farmers to gather and pray that the town slowly came to be. What are we doing in town? Joe, roll a d20. I got a 15. You are all gathered here because, with the help of El Momento's power, you figured out that a group of criminals is planning to rob the bank within the next few minutes. You figure that stopping this is your chance to make a name for yourselves. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Soon everyone will be in awe at the glory of machismo and the macho force. The macho force? That's the name of this superhero team. Pretty cool, isn't it? 
That's not something you decide on your own, Donald. Didn't ask. I think it's a pretty cool name. For once, Joe, it seems like you've woken up and decided to have good opinions. I knew you'd come around eventually. You're a valued member of the Macho Force, El Momento, even if your power is a steaming load of garbage. Whatever, I'm not going to argue against this right now. We have people to save. What do you guys want to do? Any ideas? Yeah, I, think I run we should into go the there. bank and declare them all safe in my presence. I, Machismo, the mightiest hero of all, will be their protector, their shield, their guiding ray of light in this bleak Democrat run world. Any criminals should immediately show themselves and prepare to be pummeled into submission by myself. Roll for persuasion. I got a five. This game is rigged. Machismo runs towards the busy bank and enters, full of confidence, his chest puffed out. He makes a speech, trying to rally the crowd and to show them that there is no need for fear, however, everyone just seems confused. Suddenly, four people step out and surround Machismo. Before he can try to speak to them, he is attacked from behind. Since this is an ambush, you will miss this turn. Rush Hour and El Momento still have not made it into the bank, so it will take them a turn to make it here. Good job, idiot. Look what you've done. Oh, sure. Blame me. Maybe you shouldn't have run off without a plan, you moron. We could have had the upper hand. Donald, your armor rating is 9, but it is increased to 16 while using your superpower. However, because you were caught off guard, you have no time to activate it. I will roll for initiative. 13, 8, 10, and 15. Next, I will roll for hit. 12, 9, 14, and a nat 20. You take a total of 35 damage. Bullshit, I'm already dead. This is just like the election, rigged. They do not intend to kill you, so you are instead knocked unconscious. Rush Hour and El Momento use their turn to make it into the bank. As they enter, they see Machismo knocked out on the floor, surrounded by the four perpetrators. A huge panic comes over everyone in the bank. People start pushing and shoving, attempting to get out. I try to calm people down. Give me a persuasion roll. Damn, I only got an eight. Nice job. You're the reason we're in this mess, you troglodyte. Yeah, Machismo, how could you abandon the Macho Force like that? I thought we were friends. You attempt to calm down the situation, but the crowd is in a frenzy. The security by the door is being trampled, pushed, and cannot control the situation either. The criminals hide in the crowd to try to ambush you. You cannot tell where they are, as you did not get a good look at their faces due to all the commotion. I would like to use my power to try to figure out where they are. Yes, I got an 18. Thinking on your feet, you slap yourself in the face as hard as you can. While in pain, you concentrate and, yes, you manage to see a vision of the men jumping through the crowd and ambushing both you and Rush Hour. You scream to Rush Hour, informing him of their position, and as you do, they lunge out. You both roll a dexterity throw with advantage due to the future sight. Oh, damn, I only got a 10. I got a 16. El Momento dodges the first lunge, but is unfortunately caught by the second. You take seven points of unavoidable damage. Rush Hour manages to use his super speed to avoid both incoming attacks and takes no damage. This is your first turn in battle. Roll for initiative. Damn, only 13. I'm going to activate my speed boost ability. I get to attack twice for the next two turns and gain a plus three to my initiative and dexterity. However, I will then have to skip a turn after the ability runs out. Very well. And what about you, El Memento? I got a seven. Your favorite age, Joe? Rush Hour will go first, and due to his speed boost ability, he can make two attacks. Memento, you will go last. Using my super speed, I will attack the one closest to me twice, trying to even the odds a bit. That's a 13 and 14 to hit, and... Six and seven damage. Was hoping I could do more. It's a hit. Using your dazzling speed, you attack the enemy closest to you. He takes a total of 13 damage and screams in pain. Nice job, Rush Hour. Him and his buddy retaliate back. They hit you for a total of... Ouch, 14 damage. Yeah, we might be screwed here. Rush hour, more like pushover. Hilarious. Have you been thinking about that the entire time your useless ass has been unconscious? Don't worry, guys. I got this. The other two attack El Memento. You take nine points of damage. All right, watch this. Ben, am I close enough to attack the same guy Rush hour attacked? You can close the distance and attack in the same turn, yes. Not the worst idea you've ever had. Incredible. A one? Couldn't you do anything else? I told you, you guys are useless without me. I am the backbone of this team. 
I'm sorry, guys. I tried my best. And in the end, that's all that really matters, right? No, Sleepy Joe, you idiot. We're about to lose the first encounter of the campaign because you couldn't do anything right. El Memento runs towards Rush Hour in an attempt to attack the already weakened foe. As he lunges towards him, he doesn't notice Machismo on the floor, tripping over him. You land face first on the floor, taking two points of damage, and will have to use the next turn to get yourself back up. Rush Hour, it is now your turn. Well, we're done for anyway. This is the last turn of my power. I believe in you, Barry. Is there any way I can maybe run somewhere out of sight and ambush these thugs? Give me a perception roll. Twelve. You unfortunately don't notice anywhere you can hide to grab your bearings for a few seconds. There is too much commotion going on. Well, screw it then. I'll use my first attack on the weakened enemy to knock him out. I'll use my second attack on the next closest enemy. Here goes nothing. Sixteen and twelve on the attacks. Four and nine damage. You managed to quickly jab the first criminal right in the nose, knocking him out. He never saw it coming. You go for a swift kick in the stomach on the second one, knocking the wind out of him. He takes nine damage. This was the last turn of your ability. You are now exhausted, meaning you will skip the next turn. Yeah, we're done for. On the first encounter, too, how embarrassing. Hold on a minute, guys. You've got to have faith. I still have my turn. Joe, you're on the floor with a nosebleed because your senile old ass couldn't see where you were going. Your character is somehow more useless than you are. The thugs approach El Momento, ready to kick and beat him while he's defenseless on the ground. One of them spits on him, calling him useless. He's right. As they surround Memento, you feel the ground shake. Suddenly, a large noise is heard, like the sound of a wall collapsing. Startled, everyone looks towards the source of the sound. The roof of the bank now has a hole in it, and beneath it, standing atop the rubble, is a figure, obscured by the dust being kicked into the air. Before anyone can piece together what's going on, the figure disappears with great speed. A yelp of pain is heard. One of the thugs has been knocked out. The other two start to panic. One of them feels a hand on his shoulder. As he looks behind him, he is punched in the face, the strength of the punch throwing him a considerable distance back. The last criminal cannot take it and faints at the terror. Wow, what the hell was that? See, I told you guys to have faith. Who is this utter buffoon trying to steal my limelight? This is not acceptable. Machismo will not be outdone and outmuscled. I roll to attack him. You're still unconscious, Donald. Yeah, calm down before you pop a blood vessel. So who is this figure, Ben? The dust dissipates. The crowd is stunned and muted. There is finally a few seconds of silence and calm. You get a good look at the person before you. The people suddenly start cheering as loud as they can. You all recognize the figure as Sir Glory, the number one superhero in all of Lilum. Bullshit, I am number one. Keep coping, Donald. I'd like to thank Sir Glory for his help. He smiles towards the crowd and gives a little wave, but before you can approach him, he flies out of the building through the same hole he made entering. The crowd is still cheering and chanting his name. Everyone seems to have forgotten about the three heroes. Well, damn, guess we still got a lot of work to do. Seems so. I think that's a good place to end it here, fellas. I need to flesh out this world a bit and see where I can take it. Sorry if it's not cohesive and maybe a bit strange right now. It's great, Ben. You did the best you could, given the circumstance. This was a refreshing change of pace to the usual fantasy stuff. I quite enjoyed it. I don't like this Sir Glory guy. He's clearly up to something. I, Machismo, the best of the heroes, will stop him, believe me. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you again soon for another session.